What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today is another Canadian Tire story and it's about the time that I changed the battery on a Ferrari. Let's get right into this. So where our Canadian Tire was located was right next to the highway between Montreal and Toronto. So we had a lot of traffic from the highway coming in if they needed any repairs on their vehicle. Also, if there's any breakdowns on the highway, a lot of times the tow truck would tow them to our location. So we had a lot of business that way for just coming in and getting stuff done. And of course, this had to happen on a day that the shop was closed, which is Sundays. Luckily, this guy didn't need to get his Ferrari towed to us, but he was driving on the highway and he did have all of the lights on his dash start flickering and the radio started cutting in and out and everything else was happening to his vehicle that he thought it was worth coming and stopping by Canadian Tire to at first just get the battery tested, but possibly to get it replaced. Now I was young, but I knew all of the procedures on how to go and either A, test a battery and also replace a battery. So my first step was to take our auto automotive tester, bring it out to the vehicle and try to test the battery. Now, the owner of the Ferrari did not want to turn off the vehicle. However, to use our tester, it has to be turned off. There can't be power drawing from the battery in order to test it. So he knew if it turned off, if it didn't restart, he's obviously gonna have to replace the battery. So the customer still turned off his Ferrari and I did proceed to test the battery and it literally came up that it was a bad battery. That's one of the cells no longer worked inside the battery so it will actually have to be replaced. Now, obviously a Ferrari is not a vehicle that number one, we normally got into the shop. Usually we have Ford, Chevy, Hyundai, different vehicles that are common in the area. Ferraris, not so common in our little small town. And obviously because I was also so young, I've never worked on anything as exotic as this. So since I've never replaced the battery on a Ferrari, Obviously, I didn't know exactly what I needed to move in order to get to the battery. Now, I was able to get to the terminals to be able to test the battery, but to pull the battery out, I did have to remove a couple pieces of the trim in order to do that, which were just a couple screws and one single bolt, which was fairly easy to do. Now, obviously, Ferraris aren't something that's common, so first thing I did before even attempting to replace the battery was make sure that we had a battery in stock and luckily enough we actually did. That was the exact size. So the customer bought the battery. I proceeded to go and install it in his vehicle. Now he did want to stay in the shop while I did it. However, number one, I don't like people watching me while I work on vehicles. Number two, I didn't want to mess something up and have this guy yelling at me in the shop. So our shop has a very strict policy anyways about customers aren't allowed in the shop when the shop is in operation. And even though I'm just changing a battery, I'm still in the shop and I'm working on a vehicle. So he could not be in the shop at the time. Now, since he wasn't in the shop, that did relieve a lot of the stress for me, but still this is an exotic vehicle and I was so young, I didn't want to mess up. So I did take off some of the trim that I needed to get access to the battery. I unhooked everything safely and it did pull out the old battery and confirm putting it next to the new battery that it was the exact same one. And then I proceeded to put the new battery into the vehicle. But the whole time I remember being so sweaty and just double guessing everything and double checking everything because this is an expensive vehicle. If I forget something or do something wrong or God forbid, hook the battery up wrong and something gets fried or I was just have all these thoughts going in my head. I was going to be so stressed out. So I was double checking all of my work, making sure I'm doing everything right connected the battery up perfectly, have all the trim back on this battery, made sure everything is perfect the way that it was when it came in the shop. But obviously the whole time I'm thinking, what if? What if it didn't work? What if this vehicle is not gonna start? What if I did something wrong? Luckily enough, I did nothing wrong. So I did have the customer come out to his vehicle because I definitely at that young age, number one, I didn't have my license yet. Number two, I wasn't attempting to start a Ferrari, especially when I've never really drove a vehicle at that point. So obviously I'm not, I'm done working on the vehicle so the customer can now come into the shop because there's nothing else going on in the shop at the time. So he did proceed to start the vehicle and was extremely thrilled and happy that 
it did work. It started, the lights weren't flickering anymore, but there was a little battery symbol on his dash. Now, I did tell him that's because, number one, I'm not familiar with vehicles, I'm not a mechanic, but also number two, we do not specialize in Ferraris. That's, he should take it to a Ferrari dealership to have them reset that code on the dash. It was just one of the lights on the dash basically saying that the battery was replaced, I believe. So I did recommend that he did that, but he was thrilled that the battery worked, replacing the battery worked, and he was so happy that it did a really good job that obviously I wasn't charging him labor because if the shop's closed and a licensed mechanic is not doing the work, we aren't gonna be charging him labor because there has to be a mechanic code put in, and if the mechanic's not in that day, I can't put a code in saying that he did this job. And obviously I don't have a code because I'm not a licensed mechanic. So the owner didn't pay any labor fees. He paid for the battery minus the core for the old battery because we do, I think it was $20 at the time for the old battery. So he did just pay that. And since he was so happy with all the work that I did, he did give me a $200 tip for doing such a great job and getting him back on the road so he could drive back to Montreal because he was traveling from Toronto to Montreal. And all of a sudden on the highway, all the lights started going off. So he brought it to us. And I was extremely happy because that was the biggest tip I've ever received working at Canadian Tire. Obviously, Ferraris, more expensive and more exotic vehicles like that, don't come into the shop often, let alone on the day that the shop is closed and I have to be the one to help and try to replace the battery or do anything. Now, obviously, if it was something more extreme, I wouldn't have been able to do it, but luckily I tested the battery, confirmed it was the battery, replaced it, and it worked out great for the owner. And he gave me $200 at the time, I was so young, I was extremely happy and thrilled. Now that was the first and only time that I've ever worked on a Ferrari, and I absolutely love the experience, and I love that I got the chance to do this, and it just so happened to happen on the day that I was working and the shop was closed, because if the shop was open, it wouldn't have been me, it would have been the mechanic or the installer in the shop to do the work. Work. Luckily, they weren't in that day, the shop was closed, and I was able to actually help out and do this for the customer, which I always loved doing. If the shop's closed, I loved doing anything, whether it's a battery replacement, wiper replacement, which is super easy, or anything like that. If it's something that I don't need a lot of tools for, and definitely not something that I need any of the machinery in the shop, I definitely was willing to help out as long as the store owner, sorry, the store owner or manager agreed to it. If they accepted it and let me do it, then I would go and do it. If they said no, then I can't go and do it without their permission. But whenever he heard of Ferrari, he's like, you know what, go and attempt. And I'm so glad that they did that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.